data lake, what is a data lake? So we have to go back, we have to go back in time a bit and start with uh, what is a data warehouse, right? So we starting with this idea of a data warehouse, um, which is kind of came about in the eighties. And the idea was that you would take all of your uh, relevant data, right? From, from across your organization and sort of feed it into this pipeline where you're transforming it into very specific structured schemas so that you could run reports on it and answer questions. And maybe you would be like getting your data and like transform, you would be getting all of your data set from your various systems, transforming it into the specific format needed by your data warehouse, maybe on a nightly basis, right? Um, so, so we're talking about batch processing. And then that data is going into the data warehouse in this structured format, which then allows you to read it really, really quickly and generate reports and graphs and 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 do interesting things with that data, right? But the 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 limitation here is that you have to get everything into the correct format first in order to then have that benefit of that speed and performance on the query side. Um, data lakes were sort of this idea that came about where it was like, well, let's not worry about putting everything into the correct format to begin with. Let's just throw everything into some storage somewhere, right? Really only made possible because of the existence of S3 and now it's compatible with competitors. Um, we just throw everything into one giant lake and then sort of have different things reading that and maybe transforming it after the fact into the formats that we need and loading it into various data warehouses for, for reports. Um, so this sort of represents a new paradigm where you can just like very easily record everything but then querying it becomes a challenge because it's all in whatever format it came in at, right? And, and you don't really get any of those benefits of, of being able to read it really, really quickly. Um, and then we have uh, the newest uh, architecture paradigm, which is called the data lake house. So really the main difference between a data lake house and a data lake is you're, you're basically taking your data lake and you're applying the schema to it. And that's where Iceberg comes in. So Iceberg is a catalog. And Parquet is a is a format, a file format, right? So you would have a bunch of Parquet files. Those are the files that actually contain your data. Um, and those would live on S3, right? And they've just got blobs and blobs of data in them stored. Parquet is a columnar format. So each each file is going to have some com some columns across a certain subset of rows, depending on your, your partitioning schema and things like that. Um, but knowing how to query those files, right? becomes challenging. If you have petabytes and petabytes of these files, you would have to read all of them in order to respond to a query. And so what Iceberg does is it creates a catalog or an index of what is inside those files so that you can, before you read the files, know which ones are going to contain the data that you're looking for. And then you can read them really, really quickly. 